I don't know a whole lot about fly fishing, but I know that little spot right there, that little hole looks juicy. And I'm a fricker. I'm gonna try to get a fly in there. Let's see how this goes. No promises here. Oh, oh goodness, I had one. Holy crap, I had a little guy. Oh man. Come on, back, come on. How do my first ever child? out there guys welcome to a new type of fishing video I know you guys are used to seeing us fish salt water on the texas gulf coast not anymore guys buggy whips three weights flies that i don't know how to pronounce and rivers i don't know how to find trout i've never seen and i do not know how to classify guys welcome to utah welcome to alpine our new home welcome to what's new life for Corey and i so this is the inaugural inaugural y'all correct me down below if i mess that up inaugural trip we finished our turnaround, we're successfully moved in. We've got some new tackle. We've got some three weights and five weights. We've got some tackle, tackle vests. We've got all sorts of things ready to start learning to fly fish. And today is the first scouting trip to try to figure out how to fish this beautiful area, guys. This spot is amazing. So we're gonna get started today. We're gonna try to catch a few fish. We're gonna talk through it together with you. And we're gonna do a little bit of filming and see if we can't catch our first freshwater trout uh, here on See You Out There. So without further ado, guys, let's see what we can do. All right, guys, here we go. Day one fly fishing, fresh water. Full disclosure, I have some fly fishing experience in salt water, uh, eight weight stuff, redfish, trout, flounder. Um, I'm not a complete novice to fly fishing, but I'm not the best, as you'll see in some of my casting. Um, I'm used to straight up casting in wide open spaces, so these roll casts and all these little tricky casts that you freshwater guys know, I am an absolute novice. So I'm trying to figure this out. I'm trying to learn how to manipulate the fly line and get the fly where I want it in tight quarters, which I'm not used to. Um, so this is, to me, this is like, this is starting all over brand new. I am absolutely eat up with this right now. I cannot wait to get better at it. But yeah, as we go along this, guys, keep in mind, I'm not an absolute brand new flash fisherman. Um, I do know how to cast a fly line but it's absolutely uh, in wide open spaces with no snags, tangles, trees, rocks, um, <laughs> and everything else that's involved in this, this tiny stream fishing. Guys, I know so little about fly fishing, but this is something I have dreamt about doing my entire life since I was a little kid fishing back in Florida and Alabama. Catching one of these trout, I don't care how big, is going to absolutely put me into a tiff. Y'all watch. Look at this place. Look at this, y'all. This can't be real life. All right, I'm gonna hop in right here and see if I can catch something, guys. I'll try to have a second camera if I can. If not, I'll have the old trusty chest cam. All 
So right off the bat, I found a small trout underneath this log here. And as you can see, I, I'm, I'm okay at getting the fly where I want it. What I think is really messing me up here is how quickly the fly moves with that current. When I would put the fly in the target zone, what I thought the target zone was, the fly swept down current so fast that I felt like I needed to continually recast and recast. So this is something I've definitely got to learn is, is when do you recast? Because as you can see, fly hits the water, it floats, I recast. Just immediately, I'm pulling the fly back out of the water and trying to put it back in there. So being a saltwater fisherman and being able to keep the lure in the strike zone longer Fishing this flowing water is really jacking with my head. So I feel like as soon as it moves six inches, I need to recast. You experience guys that watch this video that, that see what I'm doing wrong here, please feel free, get down below, roast me, and let me know what the heck I need to do. Because there was a trout, probably more than one trout underneath that log. I just feel like I wasn't leaving the lure in the strike zone long enough, guys. So help me out here. But I know that little spot right there, that little hole looks juicy. And I'm a uh, pricker. I'm gonna try to get a fly in there. Let's see how this goes. No promises here. Oh, oh goodness, I had one. Holy crap, I had a little guy. Oh man. Come on, back, come on. How did my first ever trout? No! Well, I know they're in here. I'm gonna stay and just keep trying, see if I can hang that guy again. Man, are you kidding me right now? I had one on. I'm gonna tie another fly on. I'll try again. I got that one on the rocks. But I definitely had a little guy on, so give me a few seconds. All right, guys, so I stayed here for a little bit longer after I got that bite. And right here, where you see the arrow, that a fish kept coming out from under there. I don't know if it was a brown trout, rainbow trout. I don't, I don't know. I don't know enough about these guys to be able to identify them in the water. But he kept coming out, uh, eating what was coming downstream, and then every now and then taking a swat at my fly. Uh, one other time, he came after my fly, and I, I completely took the fly away from him. Being a sight fisherman from the Gulf Coast, I should know better. Let the fish eat. But the way the fly moves down current, like we talked about that last spot, it just kind of messes me up. I don't feel like I'm in the strike zone long enough. 
And, and the worst part of it is I don't even know what the fly I was throwing that got the bite was. I couldn't tell you out of 5,000 flies what I was throwing. Um, so I stayed here for probably longer than I should have. The fish kept shooting out from underneath that rock, kept taking swats at the flies. Um, I went to a dry fly on top and a nymph on bottom to try to set up an indicator as I would seen on some YouTube videos and read in a book. Um, trying to learn here. Again, guys, if you, you're experienced fly fisherman, you know what I did wrong here, let me know. Y'all get down in the comments and roast me and help me out. All right, let's ease down here to another spot. We're getting about to run out of time for the day. I'm gonna take Corey out to dinner tonight. There's a couple more little spots I wanna hit before then if I can do it without dying. There's a fish right there. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but right there is a fish. There is a little trout. All right, let's see if we can get camera set up and see if we can get a lure on him. Definitely a trout right there. Same thing as before, y'all. This is where my inexperience came into play. There was a trout sitting on that gray rock we pointed out a little bit earlier. And he stayed there. Every now and then he would swim downstream a little bit. I would spook him. You can see him sitting right there. And he would come right back. I would floated six or eight different flies across his face 15 times. Um, maybe the fish knew I was there. Maybe the fly wasn't right. I tried to drop a rig. I tried nymphs. I tried a olive wing, something or another, blue wing, olive, whatever the heck. Just no luck. That fish was not interested. So, again, my inexperience came into play. I don't know. Was I standing too close to that fish? The fish didn't seem to be too spooked. He seemed to be just kind of doing his thing. But, again, my inexperience, I didn't know what to put in front of that fish to get that fish to eat. So, great experience I found the fish I, I was able to find and locate some of these um, just not knowing how to present the fly properly is still still the issue here well guys anyone that knows my luck knows that today went better than it should have first day in the mountains first day looking for trout found some trout luckily I turned off my camera right before I fell down a cliff almost fell 10 feet down into a creek it probably broke my leg and not would have been not would have been able to run Leadville 100 so I'm gonna call today <laughs> based on my inability to traverse mountainous terrain I'm gonna go home and get yelled at by mama for falling and then I uh, get this doctored up and uh yeah see what we can get into this weekend guys I hope you guys enjoyed my first attempt uh, I had one take a couple swings had one 
uh, this last little spot that wanted to bite, but I couldn't put the right fly in front of him. And then I saw a couple others, so I think I'm getting this dial. I know where they're at. Just gotta figure out how to get the fly in front of them, what they want to eat. Um, guys, this area is amazing, and we are gonna churn out some videos here, barring I don't quit hurting myself. Anyway, thank you for everything, guys. We appreciate the love and support. Uh, you will start getting more fishing videos from us. Uh, and as usual, we'll see you out there.